Are you into kayaking? Are you in the Wichita Falls area? Come along. I got something to show you. So if you're thinking walking and biking on this nice trail isn't your thing and you're more of a water person, come check this out. Dig out a kayak launching pad. Looks uh, like they dredged it out pretty, or dug it out pretty good. Let's uh, walk around it and see what there is to see. I think we can pretty much see everything there is to see from here, but uh, you know what I mean. Let's uh, walk around. Looks like we're not the only ones that's going to enjoy this little area. Are you catching anything? You don't have to fly away. Normally, if y'all can hear me, I'm going to put this up a little closer. Normally, this would all be underwater. So, for you people that are going to use this, take note of this little dig out dug out looks like it's a pretty good drop off i'm not sure how deep they dug it but uh not too bad at least two or three foot i would imagine maybe more maybe the deepest part of the lake no i'm just joking <laughs> that wasn't nice it doesn't look like they dug on out into the lake any. They just dug out to this point. But like I said, normally this would be underwater. But the lake is so low right now. So, you know, it would have been nice if they had dug it on, you know, probably right on out into there. Probably another 10 foot. It's a little too far to jump across to the other side, but uh, if you feel the need, do it indeed. But don't say that I told you to. Yeah, usually this is underwater. Oh, the water, so you can see where they've planned on it being. Well, over there, you can kind of see where the... the ridge is water is usually up to there when the lake is full so it's gonna be pretty nice i guess right beside that little tree right there looks like like a uh, little back end area i don't know do uh no kayaks don't need a boat ramp you just carry them or drag them i saw one video and the guy had a uh, little wheels like a little cart he put on the back end of the kayak and all he had just carry the front first time I'd ever seen it. That's pretty cool. So are y'all into kayaking? Let me know. I would kind of like to check it out, but from what I've been told, some of the kayaks are rather expensive. You want to go wet a line? Let's go fishing for a minute. Oh, and by the way, I don't know if I mentioned it or not, but this is Lake Wichita Park. Part of it. And this is Lake Wichita. Right over there is Lakeside City. The park itself is at the end of Fairway. Runs off the Southwest Parkway on the southwest side of Wichita Falls. If y'all are in the area, check it out. Got a little hill over there you can climb if you feel so inclined to do the climb. There's and two wives. Three wives. Oh, three wives. You got the left. That's got a, uh, we read you know, they, uh, got him older, uh, lives here with stuff up. They, uh, we three, three, four freight, put a, a Mustang front end with a penny. Uh, so the rear end's a kind of corvette, pop track, and then it's, it's got, when you turn it, it doesn't even lean. Huh. It spins real tight. And it's nice, dude. It loves the highway. And it's got positive steering set up like this. You don't do that. It's just like go kart. So you gotta watch it. And you don't go much more than that. You're a little squirrely, huh? Yeah, you don't, you it's okay. It's got a, 354 barrel automatic power and air cruise. Get everything you need, man. It's a brand new car, except for. Well, I just went, I just now got the 
Lord, we've been recovering from the front of the engine all the way back. All the way back to everything. We put everything brand new in that car. That's a brand new deal sitting right there. It's like a brand new car on an old body. Mm. Yeah. That's nice. I'll show you the pretty part of me on raise the hood. Everything's chrome. It's aluminum. There's mm -hmm. a lot everything underneath the full barrel. I'll just place up my uh Well she said, what gifts can I bring you? Prove that my love to you is true. We're gonna do that. Well she said, what gifts can I bring you? Prove that my love to you is true. Make your mind, girl, just forever. See, there's nothing in this world I would not do. Everything she's given, given willingly. Now there's only one more thing I need. Yes, I need. Ooh, girl, if you love me, yeah. you'll give me wings. Ooh, don't be afraid when I fly. In a cave, we'll forget how to sing. And if you love me, really love me, really love me, oh, you give me a wave. Right. Don't be afraid when I fly. <laughs> I wrote down about my Get a couple of shots of your car and then I gotta get yeah, back to work. Yeah, I'm thinking that way pretty quick. Go give me some supper. I'll show you the, the pretty part there. Yes, sweetheart, man. You just love the highway, man. You, you got plenty of pills. Ah, I see, I, I think the other day I was going 180. And I, I, know, I just kidding. Wow. I'm just kidding. I was doing it. I'm doing it. I just going about, oh, 80 of this. Towards our city, there's a pretty part right here. Let's see, kitty. Oh, oh man! Yeah. Oh baby! Yeah, that's a good That's a good boy. This stock's we got a couple of dollars under there. <laughs> yeah. 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 It may, it may have maybe maybe a little cam. It's not. It ain't really beat up. Now, this made this. This made two seats for it. So if you look back in the back there, there's a. It's just a, a little platform, and this way. Oh yeah. The business coop. And so they they did. This was the last year, the first year, they didn't have a rubble seat right there. Oh, okay. In the back there, they got trunk. So uh, we got a big old trunk in it. And uh, it's all original dash. Mm -hmm. The last piece we found was was that, that nose ornament. Twelve hundred dollars. Old boy in, in San Francisco. He located that, and he it was it was in an old warehouse. Oh. And he uh, that piece right up there. Right there. He found five of them. They're the only one in existence. And these 39 Chevys, there's one, there's another one in the, the coops. It, right, in, right in the middle of the, the 39 building season, they were supposed to go to war with Japan and, and, and Germany. So they quit building cars. Oh, yeah. They went to building Jeeps and uh, trailers. Oh, yeah. Cool. Stuff like that for the military. So they, uh, so there's, there's only 18, 18 registered in the state of Texas. And I saw one just the other day. It was, cool. it was a peach color, exactly duplicate, man. It's like, the, I mean, the motor and everything. 350, the chrome and everything. It was cool. You get this motor. <laughs> you don't burn your tires up, it's just, it's not burning, man. I guess it's not much of his good arm. I don't like it too long. After all, man, it, it starts spinning. Oh. And then one guy, he, in a 51 Chevy, he, he was at the intersection of the Hatton Road and uh, 
Let's see. Check for how he, he was sitting there. And he came out with his kitchen one Chevy pickup truck. And he, uh, see you later, man. He, uh, he got that water behind his wheel. He goosed it. He, I mean, he just completely blocked the whole interstate. And you could not see. <laughs> <laughs> he couldn't move and you couldn't see, man. It's crazy. Mm. Anyway. Well, I appreciate you playing for me. Yeah. And, man. yeah. And yeah, I, I just missed up my tires going to the bank the other day. Yeah. I, I, re, I did it myself. It looked pretty good to do it right. And they're not really nice, but anyways. Maybe I'll right see you little, out there this next weekend. Yeah, I'll be there. Um, now there'll be another car. This is that like mine. It's maroon. Uh, about the color of uh, it's our thing, man. Anyway. Well, take man. care. I have a good one, man. You too. I'll be your man. <laughs> Well, I'll tell you what, I hope y'all enjoyed that. I certainly did. That was better than coming out. Well, I don't know if it was better. Well, yeah, it was better than coming over here and doing a little fishing. This used to be water all the way across here. Last year I fished over here, it was the year before, I can't remember now, and I caught some little bass. And I'm just wondering, maybe they're still out there and they're a little bigger we'll probably have to find some deeper water because uh it's drying up let's get back out here and try it again next time y'all want to uh wet a line with me y'all join me in the next video because i'm going to try to get back out here in the next few days in the meantime y'all keep on keeping on i'll see y'all down the road bye y'all